Hello students, I want to welcome you back to another lesson for PSC students. And remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the lessons and videos that will be posted. And with no further delay, let's go into today's lesson. And in today's lesson, we want to cover gravity and friction. So we start our lesson with gravity. All objects have a force that attracts them towards each other. This is called gravity. Gravity only becomes noticeable when there is a really massive object like a moon, planet, or star. We are pulled down towards the ground because of gravity. The gravitational force pulls in a direction towards the center of the earth. Gravitational force increases when the masses are bigger, the objects are closer. Well, the scientist named Newton discovered that this force when he was sitting under a tree and an apple fell on his head. Law of gravity what goes up must come down. Gravity is a force that attracts objects towards one another. The surface gravity is the gravitational attraction between a planet and the objects on its surface. Earth's gravitational force pulls everything toward the center of the Earth. Because of this force, every object on Earth's surface stays in place unless an unbalanced force is large enough to overcome Earth's gravitational force. Here are some wonderful facts about gravity. Gravity is an invisible force that occurs between two objects. Objects with mass are attracted to each other. This is known as gravity. The bigger the object's mass, the more gravity it will have. The closer two objects are, the stronger the gravitational pull. And did you know that without gravity, we would all float around like in space? Then in more details, what is gravity? What if you drop a heavy object and a light object at the same time, which would hit the ground first? Some objects can experience a lot of air resistance and fall slowly to the ground. If you take away air resistance, all objects will fall with the same acceleration. When gravity is the only force affecting the fall, a light object and a heavy object will hit the ground at the same time. Then here's a picture of two diagrams. You have the person standing on earth and a person standing on Mars. So on Earth, the person weight will be 110 pounds. And if that person would get the chance to visit Mars, you'll realize that the weight of that person decreased by far. So the mass remains the same, but on Earth, that person will weigh 110 pounds. In Mars, that person will weigh about 42 pounds. So it means that here on Earth, something will weigh much more compared to in space so in space you will find things to be much lighter than on earth here's another example the person on earth will weigh a hundred pound then if the person go on the moon the person will weigh about 16.6 pounds so less than 17 pounds on the moon compared to a hundred pounds on earth so it means again that on earth a person or something might weigh a lot of pounds but if you go up into space or on the moon you might hold a big rock with one hand because it's so light. And on earth, you might struggle to try to lift that rock. So it's very important to note that on earth, something will weigh much more compared to in space. Then gravity facts. All objects with mass exert a gravitational force. Gravity causes falling objects to speed up as they fall 9.8 milliseconds faster every second. Gravity and inertia causes the Earth to orbit the Sun and the Moon to orbit the Earth. The gravitational pull of the Sun and the Moon creates tides on Earth, two high and two low tides per day. And to continue our lesson, what is friction? Friction is all around us. It is caused by the minor bumps and jagged edges. In all surfaces, there is no way for humans to escape it. There are four types of friction. You have static, sliding, rolling and fluid. Each of these have their own unique application and advantages. The four types of friction. Static friction is when a force is applied to an object but it does not cause it to move. Example, pushing on a wall. Then fluid friction occurs when an object moves through a fluid, meaning either a liquid or gas. Examples, skydiving or swimming. Then sliding friction occurs when solid surfaces slide over each other. Example, falling on the pavement and rolling friction occurs when solid surfaces 
slide over each other, example falling on the pavement. Friction is due to electrostatic attraction between the atoms of the objects in contact. It can speed you up, slow you down, or make you turn. It allows you to walk, turn a corner on your bike, warm your hands in the winter, and see a meteor shower. Friction often creates waste heat. It makes you push harder, longer to attain a given acceleration. Like any force, it always has an action-reaction pair. Rolling friction. Have you ever seen a car stuck in the snow? Every time the car driver steps on the gas, the tires just spin and the car doesn't go anywhere. This is because there isn't enough friction between the slippery ground and the tires. How could you create more friction to get the tires to move the car? Drop sand, gravel, put a board under each of the front tires. Then again, friction is a force that brings all objects to rest. Before Newton's, people didn't know about friction or the force that acts in opposite direction of movement. When he realized objects in motion are slowed down by an unbalanced force, his first law began to make sense. An object in motion will continue forever unless an unbalanced force acts on it, like friction, or it will remain at rest unless an outside force acts on it. Then here's a quick experiment. It says friction between wheels and axles is much lower so box is far easier to move then friction gives outside edges of wheels grip on road and to continue with friction sometimes friction can be very useful property and other times it can be very problematic good effect of friction it can grip on a sole of shoes brakes on tires grip on car tires hands when rock climbing handlebar grips then bad effects of friction Friction on wheel axles, icy pavements, carpet burns, wearing engine parts, increased fuel use in vehicles. Then skis. Skis are waxed so they have a tiny amount of friction. This allows skiers to go really fast. Then again tires. Car tires need a lot of friction to make sure cars don't skid when the brakes are applied. So friction is very important. Remember. It causes heat. If you rub your two hands together, you could actually feel the heat. Friction is a everyday force that we encounter on a daily basis. Again, thanks so much for tuning into this lesson. Look forward for many more, including a lot of math and social studies lessons coming soon to get prepared for PSC. I do trust that you will share this lesson with someone that is going to take PSC. And thanks so much for listening. Subscribe for more lessons and videos. Thank you.